Hey everybody, how you doing? It's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Expeditions Vikings. Right now I'm looking at the character screen. Uh, we got some points last time for our duel, so we're going to assign some of them, and some of our characters have points too. Uh, here on the left you can see how many points they have, and on the right is how much it costs for whatever we want to upgrade. Like if we wanted to upgrade his bow, and Kettle's probably going to be a bowman for us, he's a hunter, it would take 15. So we're going to find a different skill, we're going to go to utility skills, I think. Uh, hunting. If you ever played Expeditions Conquistador, you remember there are times where you have to go find food when you're on a different map, and that's going to come up with us later on. So we're going to put some points for him into hunting to make him a better hunter. Um, for Nefja, we're going to spend some points on... Hmm, what seems good? Support skills? She can show her booty? Ooh, I want to see that. She can taunt the enemy. Witchcraft? Uh, we'll probably pick somebody up who does that later on. Oh, Heavy Sleeper! I should have used that. During camping, you become fully rested in only one shift. That'll come up later on, is that what'll happen is when you camp, some people will sleep, some people need to hunt, blah, blah, blah. And then for our main character, we got 20 points. Let us put that into... Oh, what would it be good to put into? I didn't... I should have figured that out ahead of time, to be honest. Let us put it into... Shields. Uh, increases block chance... And then maybe we can put one into swords. I don't know if we have enough points left. We do. Let's put one into swords so he does more damage. And then let's go find our map. We want to go here. This is how we get out of town. And later on we will explore the town and talk to people. But right now we need to go face Erlinger Thorin Sorgelson. That guy. Because if you remember in the first episode, his drunk kids came and made a power play on us. And this is the world map. This is where our area is. Um, you'll see that come up when we need to sleep. That when people need to eat and they're hungry, because that will matter. And so we need to go right there to the farmstead. Let's see if I can remember how to travel. And then once we're there, we, can, we can't bring everybody in. Um, like, later on we'll have multiple people, more than three or more than five, and then you pick the ones that are going to go in. So, we're going to take everybody we can with us, though. Keto, Nefja, and Asleefer will come with our main character, and we got to go confront the people that, uh, you know, Urge will do. You stop your horses on the outskirts, outskirts of Erlinger Thorgesolson's homestead. Smoke rises lazily. Get a job, you smoke! From the roof of the largest building, thralls are going about their business in the fields. So far, it looks like nobody has noticed your arrival. Kittle takes a deep breath. Here we are, um. I do hope this pans out better than I expect. Have you no faith in me, sir? Neff just surveys the scene with a thoughtful expression. There are more th thralls here than I remembered. They're poorly armed, but they'll defend their master if it comes to that. I've got no problem killing slaves. Um, a surprise attack would give us a strong advantage. We might circle around to the back and set fire to the house. A sound plan, but I I, I would hate to bring all uh, such death to Erlinger. He, he may be a bitter old bastard, but he deserves a chance to die with honor. Wow, you guys are both a very upbeat. We're not going to murder him like that. We might murder him. We'll let him know we're here. He gets a chance to defend himself. A good, an honest fight. We'll send the strongest signal. We're more than a match for that stubborn old goat anyway. Even with all his thralls. I kind of meant verbally defend himself. I mean, I'll just cut him up too if we need to. An old man stands in front of his har farmhouse. That must be him right there. You know him, but not well. His family is always stuck to the outskirts. Never happy to call your father their thane. In his youth, he built this house by himself. Now he is gray of hair, and his skin is lined with wrinkles. Yet he stands proud as the patriarch of his homestead. He speaks. He begins to speak, and immediately breaks into a fit of deep, throaty coughs. <coughs> when he recovers, his voice is a rasp with an undertone of fear. My sons were fools to attack you, and cowards to do so during the feast. Thank you. Thank you for allowing my line to continue. If you remember, we um we sp we spared his youngest son. We can attempt to kill him with a surprise attack, but that doesn't seem right. Man, he's mad. Your sons violated the peace of my father, O'Brad's funeral. 
They may have been drunk, but you turned them against us and riled them up. Uh, no, it was an act of youthful foolishness. You don't look young to me. That's all. You have nothing more to fear from our family, I swear it. Astley for mutters in disdain. Horse shit. Hmm. Well, we could murder him, and that might be the right thing to do. But we're also weak, and we need allies. If you swear so, I will spare you, old man. I swear it. By my family's honor, may Thor strike me down otherwise. Am I sure about this? I feel bad for the old man, but, but what his sons did? His sons are no more. I slaughtered them. If you let this drop with no repercussion for Erlinger's family, that's a very unfortunate signal to the rest of the clan. Worse, it's a show of weakness to all the other things. I know, maybe we should murder him, but he's a part of our clan, I guess. I believe you, Erlinger. As Thor is our witness, your family is bound to serve me. But if you cross me, I will chop you into pieces. The old patriarch sways. Oh, our clan power was reduced. Then the last energy seems to drain out of him, and he drops to his knees before you. Dude, 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 I do not need a blowjob. Muttering his thanks over and over again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As you leave, his wife runs down from the har farmhouse and throws her arms around him. Your friends give you mixed looks, but they say nothing. Hey, we got some skill points. Well, we got him to swear a field see to us. This is his son here. Oh, there's his son. I guess we can't talk to him. I know it hurt our clan power. Like, big time hurt our clan power. Cut it in half. I don't know. I feel like it was the right thing to do. Maybe I'll come to regret it if the other clans think we're weak. But we killed his uppity sons. We taught them a lesson. So um, we're going to explore around here a little while. Ah, what do we have here? If you notice, I've just been kind of looting things. We've actually found some interesting stuff. Just a moment, we'll talk to that guy. We found... How do I set up inventory? Kyle traps poison fills an area with venom-coated spikes, which slow and poison the enemy. I'm going to tripwire to trip people. I'm not really sure how we use these. Uh, we'll take the poison one. We'll give the tripwire to Astley for... Now, let's talk to this dude. A solitary... A solitary thrall is chopping firewood on the outskirts of the farm. Hearing your approach, he puts down the axe and wipes the threat from his brow. I don't think you want me, travelers. My master is in the house. Wait, you're the thane! That's right, my friend, the one and only, a loaf of bread, Olaf bread. Oh, you've come about the old man's sons, haven't you? I knew this was coming as soon as I heard what they did. What are you doing out here, thrall? He looks uncertain. Like, the answer is, answer is too obvious. Well, I'm chopping firewood. Uh, oh, um. Say, what did you do to him? Erlinger has sworn to serve me. The feud is over, friend. Really? You let him get away with it? Huh. That sly big Jew sauna. He's, what do you mean, got away with it? Honestly, I don't want to murder my own people. Listen, seeing as how your business here is concluded, may I propose a trade? Hmm. I'm listening. I used to be an outlaw. My band and I ambushed farmers and merchants in the forest south of here. Before I was caught and enthralled. Ah, you're a thrall, enthralled. That's why they say that word. Ha <laughs> ha. I hid my most valuable possessions along with the stash. Uh, among the stash was the claw of a bear, which once belonged to my wife. Your wife was a bear? That's odd. That trinket is the only thing I care about. If you find it for me, you can keep the rest. All right, so you want me to do a fetch quest? Where's the stash? It's down a well next to an old ruined house in your forest, tied to a rope and weighed down with rocks. It's mostly silver jewelry and my old sword. You can keep all that. Just bring me that claw, I beg you. All right, if we get time, we will do that, friend. But in the meantime, we are off on our way back home. Three days later. You wake up in the early morning to the sound of running feet and panicked shouting. Someone pounds on your door. So rapidly and so furiously you can hear the hinges creak. Don't break my door. The muffled voice belongs to Kelv Duffer the Smith. Olaf, 
Ryuk! Astrid! Are you in there? We're under attack! It's raiders from the sea! Your brother and your mother are scrambling out of their beds, rubbing the sleep from their eyes and shaking the confusion from their heads. We're going to put on our armor and our weapons. You grab the most essential equipment and throw on your clothes. Outside, a fire roars to life, and the sounds of steel crashing against steel reaches you from the direction of the coast. Oh, shit. All right, we are all armed up and ready to go. There's our brother. I'll keep Moffat safe. Uh, take care out there. I forgot your voice, bro. Whatever. Let's do it. Raiders from the coast? It better not be from Oakland. Oh, wait, they're moving to Las Vegas, aren't they? I'm never going to get used to that. Kettle runs almost straight into you as you step outside. He has a wild look in his eyes. You're awake? You bet your ass I'm awake. Where are the others? And after just holding the bridge, ask Lever went to reinforce the north. Were the beacons not lit? A grim... A look of grim realization comes over him. No, they weren't. Let's send those big Jews sonar back where they came from. Nobody invades my town and murders people unless it's me. Olaf Obred, lead the way. Kettle is now following us. So ask Leifer is to the north. He is our best warrior, so I think he can probably defend himself longer. We're going to have to run down to the bridge, I think, and try and help uh, Nefja. We're on our way, girl. Run, my friends. Oh, there she is, guarding the bridge. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not happy that we got raiders, but they have very nice-looking outfits. Oh, my lord, how many of them are there? It doesn't bode for, well for us either that they have a bunch of bowmen. No, Nefja! Is it Nefja? Whatever. I'm just going to keep calling you whatever messed up thing I did in the beginning. It's probably... Yeah, because isn't J like a Y in that sound? Or language? Damn it. Nefja! Ah, I should have figured it out earlier. Thank God they missed that one. Alright, we've got to stop them from getting here. That basically means they're going to get to the center of town and win. Hmm. Is there much cover back here? There's a little bit right there. I only got two bowmen, though. If we run out there, there's so many of them. It's ridiculous we don't have more cover here. Alright, girl, run back here. And then we're just gonna pull back to the extremities at least a little bit. Hopefully, it'll come a little bit our way. Alright, use your ranging shot. This is kind of like dropping a flare almost so that we can get better shots for our other archers. All right, now let's take a really long shot. We got an 85% chance. If we hadn't done that, it would have been like a 50% chance. Ooh, nice shot. Suck it. And then girl, see if you can hit him. She's just like one of our regular clans people. Uh oh, here they come. Trying to demoralize us. He's probably like, you're not a very good warrior. Shut up. That's not what my mom said. It will be a pain if we've got to go across the bridge after them. Somebody turn that combat music back on. All right, let's use our charge ability. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. Luckily, he missed. That's like their version of Overwatch, the interrupts there. Um... Do you have charge too? You do, my friend. That is, I believe, yeah, that's, uh, what was it? Kelvdurfer? <laughs> Dolfer? Whatever I was saying, he's our blacksmith. Pound him like you would iron. <laughs> oh, God, you, oh, my, I'm traumatized by how hard you hit him. Uh, Nefcha, can we get you back here a little bit? All right, finish this guy off. 38% chance? What? 
I should have looked at that a little better before I did it. Use your rangy shot to drop what is essentially like a flare. Alright, Kettle, it's all you, son. 65? Really? Why don't you just run up closer? 80? There you go. I don't know why it's so hard for him to aim at a guy on the bridge. But whatever. You are dead, sir! Come get some, girl! There's a whole lot of whoop ass waiting for you over here. If you want some. He's like, you guys smell like poo. Oh, I am demoralized. Olaf, chopper. Maybe you should have brought a shield, girl. Oh my word, our blacksmith is horrible. He just decapitated that woman like nothing. Nice shot. Do you have a... Oh, she doesn't have any more charges on her spotted thing. Let's try and use our two quick attacks. 50, 50 chance on those? Kettle! Poke some holes into that girl. Make her like Swiss cheese. Delicious. Oh, look at that attitude. She's like, I got arrows sticking out of my boobs. But I'm like, come give me some more. Oh, don't touch my blacksmith. Oh, thank God that guy missed. Ooh. Our poor blacksmith. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to get the rest of those people. Maybe we can hit them and pull back a little bit. Because they do have to get into the center of our town for them to accomplish their objective. Yeah, we're going to pull back a tiny bit. Uh, do you have any rain shots anymore? No? Alright, just shoot the other bowmen. Bowmen on bowmen action. What is your chance? 78%? That's pretty good. Your pin cushion now. Aw, oh, poop. Apparently they have a medic. Or a witch or whatever it'd be at that point in time. Look at Kettle Bold just standing there. He didn't flinch at all when someone tried to shoot an arrow into him. Alright, let's charge these sons of bitches. Prepare for a loaf of bread. Olaf is on you. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Tastes like victory. I don't know if Kettle has this. He does have interrupt. He can sit here and wait till he has a shot at a 75% chance. This is a better than 75% chance, so he's going to attack the medic. Oh. What do you have, girl? 68%? We will have her sit back, and if somebody gets a little closer, she should hopefully take a shot. We'll get our blacksmith up over here. We cannot run through our own characters. So you, if you're playing yourself, you got to kind of make sure you got room for folks to run around. Come get some! You want some Olaf? There's a whole lot ready for you. Ow! Why'd you do that? Olaf no likey! Woman, shoot him. Alright, Kettle, what do we got? Shots? Oh, yeah. Weaken that. Oh, pff, never mind. <laughs> Can we do a charge? I thought you had charge it. Oh, I'm on the wrong person. I'm on Nefja. Nefjif, whatever. Hmm. Oh man, she's a pincushion. We gotta get her some armor. <laughs> There's the, 
Blacksmith, who are you looking at that you're talking smack to? There's nobody there. If we go far enough north, there are people attacking the bridge on the north. I don't know what the hell that was all about. Posing. Oh no! He's talking smack about us! It demoralized us! And that bow person is trying to kite us! There you go. Nice job, Nefja. Chase him down, Olaf. Interloper. If we go any farther, we would. Come on, Kettle. Can we get close enough to hit her? Oh, that's only a 35% chance. Uh, we'll bring him up closer then. Yeah, you better run, coward. Oh, <laughs> I hope the blacksmith is not dead. I hope he's just injured. Olaf is full of rage! <laughs> Don't be stabbing my... or shooting my blacksmith. I need him to make cool things for me. Nice shot, Kettle. The victory! We have defended the southern bridge. Wait, I think the bridge is only in the south. I don't remember if we have a northern bridge or not. Luckily, nobody has any permanent injuries. They can get them per permanent injuries sometimes. The last of the Norwegians hits the mud! And you allow yourself to pause for a moment to take stock of the outcome. Nefja wipes some blood from off her blade. Uh, I'm glad you got here so soon. These raiders know how to fight. You turn your back towards the village to see you. Loder, running towards you out of the smoke. The noun guffs the entire village. You're still alive! The others are still holding off the attack at the northern gate. If you hurry, you might be able to route the raiders there. Yeah, we'll be there in a moment. We've got some important loot to get on the way back. Okay, our blacksmith friend is back up. You can see all these bodies here that he just dismembered. Got our herbs, we got some other stuff. Okay. Thank you, Aldebron, for your help. We need to run north and defend the bridge in the north. But you know what? That's going to wait for next time. Will Asleefer be able to hold off? There he is, as he fights on the northern boundary from the Norwegians that are attacking. We need to defend the village. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for hanging out.